Put your hands up if you do it how we does. We do it mega style. Ain't nobody big as us. We make them tap out. Everybody give it up. No beats. Body slams and me mugs. Y'all already know what it is. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for Turmoil. We hope you had a great Christmas. We have the new year coming up. We're going to take it down to ringside for our first. Welcome back, Mega Mafia. It's now time for Turmoil. This opening contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall! Introducing first, representing Cash Inc. He is one half of your mega tag team champion. This is Skyler. Yeah. Oh. Oh. New member of Cash Inc. Apparently. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Ralph. I am joined by the professor. And we have Marcus as guest commentator. Hello, fans. It's great to be here. I'm ready for some exciting action. As are the fans here. This is Jimmy J. James making his way to the ring after his match last week with DLA, looking to redeem himself here. Referees checking both opponents here. We're getting ready for the bell. And here we go. Here's our first match of the evening. That is right, just Marcus, our first match here in turmoil. Jimmy James always relies on the crowd support to give him that extra, extra boost. Both men circling each other up. Tie up here. Work in the arm. And a reversal here. Skyler trying to take the best to Jimmy James right now. Good block takeover. Come on! Come on, Jimmy! Professor, something tells me you are a fan of old school. What do you think of the old school chain wrestling here? I love it. I could watch this all day. The other day I was watching a Vern Gagne versus Lethes match, and it was very much like this. Absolutely. Here we go. Jimmy James and Skyler still measuring each other. You got that right, Marcus. Both men posturing for position. Noted, uh, notable by his absence is Ken Bajan, who I'm sure is off somewhere for the holidays for the New Year's season. You're right, Great Professor. Arm drag. Who knows where Ken Bajan is? He could be scouting. More talent. Oh, brilliant belly to back suit. Oh, here's the combo. Oh, and a kick out at one. That was pretty vicious. That could have been three. Outside the ring, Chris Onyx is menacing. Absolutely, and Chris is somebody you do not want to mess with. I can tell you that right now. That's why Cash Inc. operates, so they always Three, want the advantage four, of him. Yeah, he's definitely taking advantage of that five count. Very nice suplex. He knocked the change right out of him. I saw a quarter roll right across the ring. And a kick out at one. And now Skyler's got Jimmy James and right where he wants him. Really stretching him. Trying to find it in him to get to his feet here. Oh. Oh. Version of the backbreaker. Puts him down. Say. Going for the count. Here's a count. And a kick out at two. What an elbow right across the chest. Come on, come on. 
Chris, on kick out two. Chris Onyx nodding approvingly. Kick right to the ribs. I know he felt that one because I did. Oh wow, he's stomping a mud hole. Oh, okay. oh, oh no! On, oh no! Keep an eye on Come on, ref. The referee oh. didn't see the involvement. The referee did not see the involvement. That is right, just Marcus. Always looking for a shortcut, catching. Up he goes and down he goes. Powerful slam. Taking him in a corner, toying with him, might not be smart. Referee trying to get control of this one. That is why you don't toy with your opponents. Mounting a comeback, Jimmy James. A reversal. Oh, wow. Planted him. Yeah, that's a version of an even flow DDT if I've ever seen one. One, two. Oh. Shades of Raven with the even flow DDT. You got that right. What a spine buster that was. Yeah. You see that? Skyler is showing that? himself to be a fine individual singles wrestler as well as a tag team specialist. Absolutely. Shades of Arn Anderson with that spine buster. Looking to end it here. Measuring him. Caught him right in the kisser again. He hit the famous Claymore kick. He's not able to muster a good cover to keep Skyler down. You really need to uh, do a little better than that if you want to keep Skyler down. So you're going to take a little bit more than that. I need that! I need that! Oh! Oh! No. A low Oh. Skyler, low blow. Typical for Gashink. That is three. This one is over. Skyler steals another victory. And this week, Skyler is victorious. Absolutely. By any means necessary, I guess, when it comes to Gashink and Skyler. Not, not even a single gift. Not a single gift. I had one thing. Whoa, I had, whoa, whoa. Really? I had one thing on my Christmas list. One thing. I wanted the Lego DeLorean. The new one. The big one. The, the $200 one. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. Instead, a donation has been made in your name to the church. What? I don't know what that is. All right. I thought the Catholic Church here, stopped here, doing Here, here, I got an idea, all right? I went through all of Mega's merch. I got some ideas for us, all right? Uh, so, uh, Rusev. You like Rusev, right? Zero? Uh, uh, Tyson Kidd? Ooh. Okay. Um, well, you know, we, we talked about having a movie night at some point, mm -hmm. and I figured there's some good stuff here we could watch, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Uh, like, like, uh, Nacho Libre? Oh, That's a good one. That's a good one. Before. Taco loves that one. He does. Um, uh, the, the Marine 3 <laughs> home front? That's one. Uh, the Marine 3 home front? The Marine 3 home front? <laughs> <laughs> You'll never guess. The Marine 3 home front. Ooh. And to follow it up, the Marine 3 home front. We can't watch any of these. What? I only have an HD DVD player. All right, well, fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. I have the VCR out. Oh, VCR. Back to the Future. One and two. 1998 USA cut. It'll be perfect. I'll be allowed to watch this. Perfect. All the swearing is cut out. Oh, sweet. So talk about back with snacks. We got like 10 minutes to get to your house. Okay, are we, should we still do it at your house? Is your mom okay with that? Yeah, there's no swearing on this. She'll okay. be fine. But does she have pizza rolls? Oh, she's got pizza rolls. Oh, uh, pizza rolls. Let's go, let's go.
Mega Mafia, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall! And it is a loser leaves turmoil match. Wow, those are some high stakes here at Mega Championship Wrestling. Loser leaves Here's turmoil match. First Professor, what do you think of that one? Very high stakes. Of Lake Erie. This is R, the Pirate. Oh! Everybody's favorite pirate. Yep, it's Og the Pirate sailing in from Lake Erie. Former tag team partners. Wow. Also sure that he's festive. Former tag partners gone now. And his opponent representing the mega church. This is Raven Aura. Professor, this is one wrestler, one performer here at Mega Championship Wrestling that scares the bejesus out of me. One of the most terrifying, Sebastian LaShawn. And who knows what sort of control he has over Raven. Let me tell you, these two creep the heck out of me as well. As well as you do I, Marcus, as well as you do I. Arg is in good spirits. That might change when this one starts. Raven appears to be in some sort of otherworldly trance. I was like that once. I mean, probably can't talk about those things. Oh. Drugs are bad, kids. Oh. Taking it down to ringside for the bell here. These two competitors are ready. And this one is underway. Oh boy. Sebastian is absolutely loving the controls they have over Raven. I, I, I just don't understand. Oh, oh wow. Them eyes have no life in them. And remember, this is a loser must leave match. So whoever loses must leave forever. A couple of pair of arm drags there. It's like Raven came to life under Sebastian's order. Pierce. Whoa. Oh, Someone lost a shoe, Raven. Oh, Raven oh, doesn't oh, even care. Two, four, three, he might not even four, be aware. I don't think he is. Vicious headbutt. Vicious, vicious headbutt. Dragging arc in the middle of the ring. Here's a cover. Yeah. No count. Arc grabs the dirty shoe. Oh wow. Forearm to the face. Forearm. Raven seems oblivious to this hour. Wow, Raven is shoeless and clueless at this point. I don't know. What What do you think, Professor? I, I would love to know just exactly how Sebastian exerts the control over Raven. Sebastian controls anybody she comes in contact with. That is for sure. It almost looks like Raven's waiting for orders from Sebastian. But it doesn't seem like these are having any impact on him. You get the same, same 
look on his face. Same vacant facial expressions. Oh! Referee knocked down, and Ard got a watch inside. I don't know what's going on here. Oh! Took his head off! Oh! Double stop. He is out. He is not moving. He is out cold. The referee's out cold, too. And Sebastian, and the Sebastian LaShawn is laughing at this. Referee and R are down. Wake up! Wake up! Come on, R! Come on, R! You're good! Oh. Going into the cover. Unbelievable. Sebastian has control over pretty much anybody here in Mega. Mega especially here at Turmoil. Is your winner, Raven Aura. And you know what that means. Arg, Arg is gone. Arg eventually and will be lurving. Raven's victory, Arg the Pirate, must now leave Turmoil. Oh, wow. I, unfortunately, when Arg wakes up and realizes that he's no longer employed here, that's going to be one sad pirate. That's for sure. He, uh, he was fighting a good match, too. Uh, he was, you know. He was. Yeah. He sure was. Arg the Pirate fought his best. Unfortunately, that's just the way the ships sail in the night, I guess. Thank you, Arg! The fans Thank you, Arg. giving a nice tribute to Arg Thank in his swan Arg. song. Dale here with Tyreek. Man, I gotta ask you, how do you feel about my outfit, man? I updated it. Sewed these suspenders into the pants. Isn't that pretty cool? Dale, do you not remember what happened to the last person that asked me a stupid question? Oh, yeah, that's how I got my job. Yeah. So, do you think it's wise to ask me stupid questions? I'm sorry I didn't realize that was a stupid question. My apologies, I won't let it happen again. So, with that said, the next mega event, got that last man standing match. How do you feel? How do I feel? I feel upset, Dale. I'm angry! Yeah, I mean, I can understand. You're going up against Mo, someone you've had trouble putting down as of late. Uh, Have trouble putting down? No, no disrespect. I'm just saying, like, as a no, 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 no. Comments. You want to throw comments out there? I mean, no. let's talk about the facts, right? Okay. Who are you gonna call? Did we not both get counted out? That's what I'm saying. No one. So won. he didn't beat me, and I didn't beat him, right? That's true. Okay. Right. So continue on. Night of Champions, right? We yeah. both penned Bill Collier. Again, I didn't beat him, but he hasn't beaten me either. I I see what you're saying. And you know what? That's where I was gonna go with it. I was gonna say, last man standing match, I think we'll see the dog come out in Tyreek and you can get that belt around your waist. You know, it's kind of ironic. January 21st will be history. It'll be history because Mo has been the Infinity Champion for exactly one year. But it'll be also history because I become a three-time Infinity Champion. Champion. I believe it, man. Go out and do it. Mega Mafia. I love a Mega Mafia. <laughs> <for one laughs> and it is for the Mega Brass Knuckles Championship. <laughs> Introducing first, representing the party posse, this is Jimmy Jammer. What's up, party people? Uh oh, Professor, you know what that means. The party's here. Accompanied by El Tic Taco and Norm. Norm appears to be 100% after his battle last month. We're at the last show at Night of Champions. 
that match was brutality at its finest. Yeah, that was last week. That was last week. Come on, you got it. Come on. Yeah, all right. All right. That was a rough one to watch. Uh, that was a rough one to watch at Mega Champions. The reigning and defending Brass Knuckles champion, Victor Vale. Oh, wow, Victor Vale making his way to the ring. Anywhere he goes, there's a presence about him, and I just don't like it. You have to acknowledge, though, the tremendous physical conditioning that, that Vic Vale is in. Absolutely, without a doubt. He exudes a sort of arrogance, however. He does. He just threw that bike tire against the curtains. This match is being officiated by Jess Marcus. Just Marcus is checking both competitors here, making sure nobody has any hidden weapons. Marcus known for calling it right down the middle. He got that right. Gonna take it down to ringside, wait for the bell for the referee. This one is underway. Tie up, probably a mistake by. Ooh, definitely a mistake by Jammer. Jammer better not try to match strength with uh, Big Fail. No. He's going to need to use his experience and, and caginess. Absolutely. Otherwise, it's going to be a party pooper for him. Fighting back here. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, it slams him into the corner. Lifts him up like a sack of potatoes. Did you see the ease he picked him up with? Yes. Effortless. Oh, he's breaking his face. His eyes right across the rope. You see, this is what galls me. He obviously has the physical capability to be a competitive wrestler, and yet he tries to use illegal tactics. He really does. He has all the buildings to be a great here. All the extras are needed. Wow. Jammer's in pain. I'm worried about that elbow. It seems to be bruising up here rather quickly. Desperation. Yeah. Definitely favoring it. Yeah. He just catches him. Oh, belly to belly suplex. One, two, two. Two count from referee Just Marcus. From face lock on Jammer. He's trying to make his way up. Referee better keep an eye on that arm. Oh, Oh, suplex. he snapped the hell out of that suplex. Two count. Jammer rising pain over here. Oh, wow. Bale measuring Jammer like, like, a, like a big cat playing with his prey. I don't know if that was a punch or a clothesline. All I know is it hurt like hell. Another clothesline. Jammer looks out. Oh. You have to ask yourself, how smart is it for Jammer to be kick, keep kicking out of this? You, know, you really wonder at some point. Continue to work on the arm that was injured earlier. Absolutely. You know, the Jammer's 
no scrub, but oh. He's got him in a, some sort of submission here. Really wrenching that man. Jim, yeah, everything he's doing is out of desperation right now. He's putting up a, a heck of a fight. That was just instinct getting out of the way there. Jammer with his own suplex into a pin. Two, two count. Valor almost in disbelief. A little bit of coaching from the sideline by the party posse, but a little easier said than done, huh, Professor? Absolutely. Big Bale is really snapping on the suplex powerfully. Oh, is that a full Nelson? It might be. I'm not sure if those hands are locked. That might be an illegal maneuver. We oh! Jammer with the jawbreaker. Valor felt that one. Bridging. Valor with the gator roll. Just having his way with Jammer. He's got the roll. Come on, it up. One, two, three. Trying to make their way to their feet. Jammer has made his way to his feet. Oh, some shots. Reverses with the forearm. Sad man. Another jawbreaker. Showing the showing the wear and tear on their bodies from this from this tight contest. Oh my goodness! Who is this? The mega church. The mega church. What are they doing out here? Well, they have had issues with the party posse in the past. Jammer needs to be focused on what's happening in this ring. Yeah, I would not. I would not. Oh. Oh. Spine buster in the pen. That is it. That is a three count. This one is over. Take it out of the ringside for official announcement. And still, Mega Brass Knuckles champion, Victor Vale. Victor Vale takes advantage of this one. With an assist from the Mega Church. Ronnie Dale here with Hamvision and the Lackeys. Uh, this guy with his big mouth. The Lackeys? It's, it's a good thing. You like, mean the Tag Team soldiers. Champions? Oh, like Soldiers? Yeah, oh. yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah, okay. Like yeah, so uh, Lackeys, uh, how, do you, how do you feel about your match against the Red Boys coming up? How do I feel? I don't know if you saw the last show, Ronnie Dale, but we cleanly defeated That's right. the main event and PME. Yeah, we did. We racked up another victory. Mm -hmm. Cleanly? Yeah. yeah. Some would say he snuck in a victory at the end. <laughs> a victory is a victory. That's We're it. still the champs. That's right. All right. And the Rad Boys, they couldn't beat PME. Mm -hmm. Colin the Farge beat them. That's right. We all know what happened to that. So. <laughs> exactly. And we're gonna get another victory on January twenty-first mm -hmm. when we beat Brandon Elliott and Jay Wiley. Still, your mega tag team champions. All right. That's right. Yeah. Well, Ken, how do you feel? It's a cool outfit. Are you touching my outfit? 
It's alright. It's alright. It's it's right. Don't you Relax. ever touch my outfit, okay? Do you know how much this outfit costs? How much? More than you and more than yours. Let's go, boys. Well, it don't cost much. I'm a cheap guy.